may be the most stubborn person I know. <laughs> you are also the most loving and generous person I know too. And although I thought for years God was crazy for giving me you as an older sister, what I was too short-minded to see is he was shaping us into lifelong friends. Now, Ryan, I'd like to say that when I first met you, I knew you were the perfect guy for her. But if we're being really honest, when I realized she didn't know you were bald, I thought there was a 50-50 chance you were going to be gone. <laughs> but really, I couldn't have pictured a better man to marry my sister. I just have three real quick words of advice. One, please uh, surround yourself with friends that will strengthen your marriage. I've been married 21 years, and that's probably the, the greatest thing I was doing when we got married. Is make sure you, you have friends around you and people around you that will support and strengthen your marriage. So take that one to heart. Uh, number two, never go to sleep angry. And third, if at first you don't succeed, just do it the way Lauren told you to do. <laughs> Hi Ryan, take you on to be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and hold and to stay forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, for as long as we both shall live, this is my solemn vow. Hi Lauren, take you Ryan to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from the safe forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, for as long as we both shall live, this is my solemn vow. And now pronounce your husband and wife. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. About 18 months ago, she sat down with Cindy and I, and she started to talk to us and she goes, you know, I just don't know what God wants out of me. Does he want me to be single? Or does he want me to find the right guy? And the one thing I mentioned to her is that Cindy and I, and I know my mom and dad pray for you every day and everything will be okay. And the thing is, we didn't know that just 45 miles away, all those years, there was a couple, Roger and Debbie, that were raising a son in a very biblical sense, teaching the things that we would want to teach and we do want to teach our own kids. Never in all those years had we ever crossed paths until it came time just a couple of months later. Father's Day 2018, I got a text from her. Keeping in mind my prayer, send Ryan a godly woman. The last sentence of the first communication from Lauren was, thank you for raising a godly son. As God does many times, he'll give you more than you can hope or, or imagine. And with Lauren, he uh, gave Ryan a very intelligent, hardworking girl. You know, there's gonna be times when life really does seem unfair. The one thing that we can know is that every morning there are going to be new blessings. And most of all, our Redeemer is faithful and true.